we've got the front wheel up onto the obstacle when we're going up a climb, we need to get the back wheel up. There's no point just banging the back wheel into the obstacle because you'll still end up having to get off and walk. And what we want to do is keep riding all the way up the climb. So we're going to look at a technique called the rear wheel lift. As with the front wheel lift, it is an uphill skill. So you're still going to be in that same easy gear. The seat's still going to be way up and your bum's going to stay in contact with the seat. Because if you stand up, that back wheel is going to start spinning on the object. The back wheel lift itself is actually created by a weight shift forwards. So you're going to be taking your weight from the seated position for the wheelie to actually standing up and throwing your weight forwards to unweight the back wheel and allow it to come up onto the object. The pedals are going to be level and really importantly, your feet are going to be pointing straight down to the floor. So the rear foot is going to do all of the lifting. In terms of the body movement itself, as soon as the front wheel comes down from the wheelie, you want to stand yourself up rapidly and imagine you're heading a football over the handlebars. So you're going to dive forwards and throw your weight rapidly to the front of the bike. Your brakes can be covered for this, but obviously don't pull them because we're going uphill and you don't want to rob yourself of any momentum. So the pedal is going to be level at three o'clock and nine o'clock. And it's really important that this rear foot here, the toes are pointing straight down to the ground with the foot pushing hard back into the pedal so that that can lift the back wheel up. So the back foot is going to kick up and actually physically lift the back of the bike up into the air.